Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I run the blog lifefromtheviolasection.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. Today I'm kind of doing a follow-up to my last video, so I'm going to show you how I've been using my Mac Mini M2 Pro model in the last week and almost a half since I've had it. So if you don't know much about me, I am a private music teacher and I make YouTube videos and blogs. I end up arranging a lot of music for my students. I teach on, both online and in-person students. So my computer gets a lot of use through the week. So let's take a look at how everything runs on this computer. So here is my computer. Beautiful, beautiful wallpaper. I love how it all looks. It's so nice and clean, and especially on a big monitor. I believe my monitor is 27 inches big. I'm using the Samsung Viewfinity S8 monitor. If you watched my last video, I accidentally said that it was S7. I got it confused because there's a new model coming out this year. The new model that hasn't come out yet is S9, and I'm using an S8. I just got confused with all the numbers. So this is a 4K display. Also, last week I said it was 5K. It is actually 4K. I think the one that they're coming out with this this coming year is going to be 5k. I just jumbled brain because I'm excited about a new computer. Okay, so let's show you around what I've been doing so far on this computer. So my day usually starts with checking my email and I just use the regular built-in mail app on my computer. On my phone, I just use the Gmail app because I think it integrates a little bit nicer, but for all of my different mail accounts on my computer, I like to just use Apple Mail. And yesterday I finally recreated my email signatures. So I sent it to myself as a test. I had to do a little bit of HTML coding to get it in there in the actual like Apple um, mail app. And it was tricky, but I had done it before on my laptop, but I hadn't like saved the directions of how to do it or anything. So I had to kind of go back, find the same article that I'd used before and then recreate all the steps and now it looks basically the same as it did before I just updated a couple of small things within it so um yeah I used HoneyBook to create this HoneyBook is the website that I use for all of my invoices and um like contracts in my studio things like that so they also have a free email signature generator so I used that to input all of my different social media links even my website um my phone number and email address they're all clickable within the email and it's really, really nice. Then they send it to you. You can either copy and paste it um, if your email provider allows that for a signature or you can also get the HTML code and then insert it. So that's what I was able to do. It works really nice and it's automatically applied to any email that I send from my professional studio email address to students. And then of course, one of my most used apps on my computer is gonna be Zoom. So I need to reset my webcam because it was showing up in the video. My computer's a little bit lower than I usually have it right now because um, just the camera is all set up. So it's a lot lower. So the view usually looks just a little bit different for lessons. So I use Zoom every day for online teaching and um, I have my own private meeting room, everyone uses the same meeting link for their online lessons. So I don't know, everything's really, really fast on here. I finally have access to the fun things like blurring my background. My old computer was too old for that. So now I finally have access to that. I can also choose virtual backgrounds. I can be in the galaxy just like my students like to be a lot of times. So that is all fun too. So my very favorite new feature with all of the Mac updates is using my phone as a second camera. So I know the thought that Apple had was that you would um, put your phone mounted on your computer and use the rear camera as a higher quality webcam. But what I like to do as a music teacher is to set it and then show um, finger patterns on piano. I can, I haven't used it for violin or piano yet, but I could in theory, let's see, if it, yeah, I could in theory do things like this. So it's really, really great to do things close up on here and just to show exactly what I need in a higher quality 
version because the webcam that I have, it's, there you go, a logic, oh, it's hard because it's backwards. It's a Logitech HD 1080p webcam. I'll link it in the description box. It is, I'm gonna stop that, okay. It is a good webcam, but it's not quite as high quality as I would have hoped. Um, just looking at it, like you can see, it's a little bit grainy, but I think it works better with my new computer and all the setup there and everything. One thing to note, if you are coming from a laptop and you're used to all of that, the Mac Studio does not have a built-in camera, obviously, but it also doesn't have built-in microphones. So you need to have external microphones connected. With the new update, you can even use your phone as a, micro with, as a microphone too, which is really, really helpful. I haven't experimented with that yet, but it can be helpful if you need it. So that's an overview of how I've been using Zoom. It's super fast. Um, I haven't heard the Mac uh, Mini fan run yet, so that's good because it always sounded like my laptop was just going to fly away when I was using Zoom. <laughs> and that was a little scary sometimes. I've actually started using Notion. I have been using Trello for a while, but I don't know, sometimes it's laggy and I watched a cool video on Notion, so I wanted to try it. So I've been using that a lot. It works really, really well on my computer. I'm not gonna open it just because I have like some personal stuff in there and that's a lot. So let's see. I also use Safari all the time. I've had a couple small problems with it, but I think they were all on my end or um, just like Wi-Fi issues that I was having. So let me show you the speed that I'm getting just on Wi-Fi. I think the Wi-Fi speed was just a tiny bit slower than the ethernet speed when I had it plugged in, but Wi-Fi has been great. I haven't had any problems on my end with students. Um, I did have a problem where one of my students was trying to join my Zoom meeting for like 10 minutes and couldn't, and I couldn't see her, and that was really weird, but then she tried it on a different computer and it worked just fine, so I don't know. I think that was probably a weird Zoom problem and not I don't think it had to do with my computer or Wi-Fi. I don't know. There you go, those are my speeds right now. I think that's pretty good. I use Google Drive for just about everything. My favorite way to use it is that I keep screenshots or um, scans of all of the music that I teach with in here. So I can go over to Viola Teaching and I have different books and different just genres of music sorted out into folders and then I can open them up and find different things. I can share them with students if needed or really it's just I can easily pull them up on my iPad without having to download them. So that is really the best thing that I use when teaching. I also have notes for each and every one of my students through Google Docs. If you'd like to see me show off how I use that in depth, I'll link the video up in the eye. I have a Google Doc for each student and I share it with them with their notes every week and I can link to videos, I can link to things and it's just really helpful to have that electronically rather than just like a notebook even if they're in person. I think that just having access to links and websites and things within their notes can be really, really helpful and powerful. So the other big thing that I've done is just edit videos for YouTube through DaVinci Resolve. I finally upgraded to the paid version so now I have a couple more effects and transitions and things like that. So this is the video from last week and I'm gonna mute my computer so that doesn't bother you. There are a few files missing, I'm not sure. They might be from a different hard drive or something else that I have plugged in while I was working on it. But here is kind of a heavy clip where um, I sped it up. I have text and I have music underneath, so I'm just gonna show you how the computer handles I'm just previewing that. It's just running flawlessly as if I were watching it on YouTube, which is so nice because my last computer was very, very slow with things like this. So here's another spot. The text transitions are just smooth and perfect. Let's go to an actual clip transition right here. See how smooth that one is. Perfect, like it's so easy to watch, it's so, it's such a great upgrade from what I had before. So 
Now I think we should test out Audacity together. So I actually haven't used this on the computer yet. Um, I downloaded it, but I just haven't used it and it looks tiny on the screen, so I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay. The layout is a little bit different from the version that I had on my laptop. It's just a slightly updated version. So let's record a little bit of something, see what the playback sounds like and just see what the editing experience is like. Testing. Hello. Okay. I see waves. And we'll listen back to that. I have the output speakers set as the monitor. Um, the monitor has pretty decent speakers. I mean, they're not fabulous. They're not mind blowing, but it works for just listening to music while I'm working or, you know, just watching videos and stuff. And then when I have online lessons, I just use my AirPods. Um, a lot of times my students will be, um, like their playing will be really quiet over Zoom. So having AirPods directly in my ears helps me hear them a little bit better. So. Testing. Hello. Okay. I see waves. Sounds really clear. Awesome. Okay, one problem that I did have with Audacity in the past is that it would not play through AirPods. Let's see if this version is any better at that. Restart Audacity and see if that changes anything. Okay, it comes through the AirPods and it sounds really, really great. It's a very clear recording. So let's try some different stuff with this. Okay, this is all an, just an update. Let's add some reverb to the pizzicato. I'm just gonna do whatever um, whatever the settings are set to right now. Playback device back to my monitor. Okay. Works pretty well, I think. Um, just super easy to use and it works quick and fast and the new updates Audacity seems pretty nice. I, I haven't updated Audacity on my laptop in a very long time. I don't know what version I've been running, but I'll put the numbers for you up here. I think that basically shows off everything. Oh, the other thing I use my computer for often is Canva, where I will create my thumbnails for videos, um, different um, kind of things for students, so like a little advertisement for our studio class for February. I'll create things like this in studio all the time and I find that this runs a lot faster than um, it had on my laptop. So that has all been really, really good. I think that about covers everything. So that's how I've been using my Mac mini computer for the past almost week and a half since I've had it. I really, really love it so far and I am using up almost all the ports already, but I did buy um, a little dongle that connects via USB-C so that it's a little bit faster because the Mac mini does not have an SD card reader and you know I have a lot of USB-A products so the three I think USB-A ports isn't quite enough for me sometimes so but I mean it's been working great the dongle I bought is nice so I'll link that down in the description if you're looking for something similar USB-C to like USB-A I think Ethernet as well and SD card and micro SD as well so if you're looking for something like that I think it's a good option it's worked for me for the last week don't know how long it'll hold up for but I mean I think it's good let me know if you have any questions about any specifics about my Mac mini or if there are any ways you think that I should be using this any ways that I can be more productive or any kind of capabilities that I have not thought of yet or that I'm missing out on I would love to know how to use this even better if you liked today's video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel I post new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time
Thanks for watching.